So now we're going to be doing October 2017 C34 um, IAL. This is at Excel Pearson. And um, we're going to do question two, which is about implicit differentiation. Okay, so in this question, it says a curve C has equation y cubed plus x squared times y minus 6x equals 0. And the first part of the question tells us to find dy dx in terms of x and y. Okay, this is a, an equation where you see it's not easy for you to make y the subject of the formula. You can't write y equals some sort of function of x okay, very easily here. And for that reason, we don't differentiate it in the normal way. Normally, when you differentiate something, you know, you just you know, have y equals, and then everything on the other side is with x, x terms, and then you just, you know, differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. This is not the question here at all. It's something else. So when you have y equals, say, um, x to the power of 4 plus 3x. Okay, now what we normally would do is say, oh, dy dx equals 4x cubed plus 3. Okay, this is what, what, what you're used to saying. That's 4x cubed plus 3, and we're done. Okay, that's how you differentiate something with respect to x. Okay, but I want to show you actually what we're really doing. Okay, but we're taking a bit of a shortcut when we write it like that. There's nothing wrong with writing it like that, but I just want you to understand, okay, where it comes from so that you'll understand what we're doing when we're differentiating this function um, implicitly as we're going to learn how to do. Okay, this is where you have a function okay, of y which is expressed explicitly. Okay? y is explicitly in terms of x. Okay? And what we're actually doing is we're, we're saying, okay, let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we differentiate this side with respect to x. So we differentiate this side with respect to x. Okay? That's what we're doing. We're differentiating both sides. We're doing the same thing to both sides. We're differentiating both sides with respect to x. Okay, so on this side, as we know how to do that, it becomes 4x cubed plus 3. On this side, what we're going to do, actually, when you do this, is you're, you're going to differentiate y, okay, with respect to y. So you're going to basically find dy with respect to y and you're going to multiply that by dy dx okay that's how you make that's how you, this is actually going to be the same thing you can see the dy kind of think of them as cancelling out this gives you the same thing as that so how do you differentiate y with respect to y it becomes one okay then you've got dy dx so i'm differentiating the y with respect to y Okay, that's like, you know, this is the variable and we respect, we're differentiating with respect to that variable. So you're going to get 1. And you've got times dy dx equals 4x cubed plus 3. So that's how you get dy dx equals 4x cubed plus 3. Okay, that's all of this stuff here. We just leave it out. We don't need to mention any of this stuff here. We go straight from there to there. Okay, but actually, this is what we're doing. We're actually using what's called the chain rule here. Okay, we're actually using the chain rule here to differentiate this with respect to x. So you, re you differentiate the y with respect to y and multiply that by dy dx. And it's like the chain rule, the dy's cancel out, you're left with dy dx. Okay, so that's actually what's happening when we're differentiating a function in, 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 you know, this, in the normal way. Okay. But as I said, we leave this out. So hopefully, if we get have some sort of understanding of that, we'll know, we'll understand what happens next. Because most students, they find this, you know, quite a simple concept to, um, to I mean, they find it a simple procedure to just differentiate implicitly. There's not, not much of a problem in that particular uh, skill. But the, the problem is a lot of students don't actually understand why they're doing what they're doing. They say, okay, you just, you know, you just, you just do this and you just remember what you do without understanding what, what's behind it, okay? But hopefully you understand now a bit about why we're going to do what we're going to do here. So if I want to differentiate this, if I want to find dy dx, I've got to differentiate this function or this you know, relation 
with respect to x. So I've got to find dy dx. So what I can do is each term separately, I can differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so I'll have dy cubed dx plus dx squared y with respect to x. And you've got minus d of minus d6x with respect to x equals, and even the other side, differential of 0 with respect to x. That's actually what we're going to do. Again, this step is not normally written down. I'm just writing it down to give you some sort of understanding of what we're doing. So when you differentiate y cubed with respect to x, what you're doing first is you're, you're differentiating y cubed with respect to y, which gives you 3y squared, and then you're multiplying that by dy dx. Okay, so what you're doing is actually doing d 3y squared with respect to y times dy dx. Okay, that's what you're doing. So that gives you, um, that gives you, sorry, I've already written down the differential. You're finding dy cubed, dy cubed, okay, with respect to y and multiplying that dy dx, that's the chain rule. Okay, so you differentiate that and multiply by dy dx. So you differentiate that y cubed, gives you 3y squared, multiplied by dy dx, that's differentiated this with respect to x. And then you're going to have this. Now here we have x squared y. This is a product of two separate functions. Okay, two separate functions. So therefore we have to use what's called the chain rule. Okay, so when you use a chain rule, you call one of the functions u, and one of the functions, sorry, not the chain, we use the product rule. When we use the product rule because one of the well, one of the functions u and the other one we call it v. Okay, so we're using the product rule here to, to differentiate this because it's a product of two separate different functions. And what we've got to do is we've got to find the differential of u, which is going to be 2x, and the differential of v, well, if you differentiate y with respect to x, you're going to have to differentiate y with respect to y first, which gives you 1, and multiply it by dy dx. Okay, so it gives you dy dx. So with the chain rule, what you do is you do you find v u dash plus u v dash. Okay, you just you know multiply the 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 original of one with the differential of the other and add the others and vice versa. So I like to say v u dash plus u v dash. You can do it the other way around as well. There's no problem. Okay, so v u dash gives you two x y plus, I'm going to have uv dash, which is x squared dy dx. Okay, and then you've got minus, well, this is just like what we're used to, differentiate 6x with respect to x gives you just 6. Okay, so remember it's 1 times 6, which is 6. Take 1 from the power, give you x to the power of 0, which is 1. And of course, differentiating any constant, 0 or any other constant with respect to x will give you 0. Okay, because the gradient of a straight line is zero, of a horizontal line is zero. Okay, differential of this is going to be zero. If it was any number, any constant number, it's going to give you zero as a differential. So now we're ready to continue and to make dy dx the subject of this. Okay, so let's bring the x squared, um, sorry, the dy, 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 dy dx terms together. So you've got 3y squared dy dx plus x squared dy dx, and then we've got plus 2xy minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, and now we can take out dy dx as common from these two, and we can put that on the other side. Let's do that first. If we take 2 dxy as common from these two terms, we've got dy dx, and we've got 3y squared plus x squared, equals 6 minus 2xy. I've just basically added 6 to both sides, taken away 2xy from both sides, and I've taken out dy dx as common. So then the final step would be dy dx is equal to 6 minus 2xy over 3y squared plus x squared. And there we have our answer. Okay. So as I mentioned, some of these steps, like this step here, is not really necessary. It's just to make you understand what's going on when we're doing implicit differentiation. So we use implicit differentiation when we cannot make y easily the subject of a formula, and we, can, we have to differentiate each term 
with respect to x separately. Okay, if you see a product of two separate functions, we're going to have to differentiate them using the product rule, where we you differentiate one of them, each of them, and you do the original times the differential um, and vice versa. Okay, so v u dash plus u v dash. Okay, so there's the answer to part A, question 2A, and I'm going to go on to part B in the next video.